when it comes to uh, online password managers, people do have a legitimate fear of them because you're you are storing your data in the cloud. But the reason why people fear this is because they don't fully understand what is going on behind the scenes. Because to most people, this web browser and this web page is just a mysterious black box. So I want to show you what's actually happening behind the scenes. And it's very easy to do. You can do this uh, at home if you want to. You can see how everything's going on in the background, see what's actually being uploaded to their servers, and give you a better idea what's going on and see that you can actually trust these people because uh, you can confirm it yourself. So to do this, I'm going to use uh, Bitwarden Password Manager. I'm going to use this example one here. And I just filled in things as an example, example. Uh, use the same string example, example, just to show you that each thing it will be unique. As you can see, pretty simple so far. Now what you want to do from here, you want to use the Google, Google Chrome web browser then you want to right click in the white space like I did right there and go down to inspect and your window might be, be pop up a little bit different but if there's a little there's a little three dots next to an X right there if you click it you can do like a pop out that's the one I like to use so you can make it pop out like that make it a little bigger and from this little window you're looking for the network tab at the top. If you don't see the network tab, there's usually a little arrow at the end. You click that, it'll show you. And then you want the page to be empty like it is. Then we want to go back to our vault. And I'm just going to change the password to something else. Doesn't matter. Yes, I'm right. Yeah, that looks fine. And then what we're going to do Go make sure our window is still blank like it is like that. That's perfect. And we're going to go down to save. Hit that. And we're going to go back to our little window. You can see a couple things popped up. I'm going to click on the red button right there to stop monitoring all the traffic. And what this page basically means this is everything that was sent to the servers. You can see this part right here. That is actually your data. If you click it you can select the preview button right here and this is all the data that was sent to the servers and you can expand it when you log in the URLs and all that and you can see that is your encrypted string that right there basically means example or the password I had and URI was example.com and the username right there all that is encrypted so it's not your naked password or username bitwarden is encrypting everything that's being sent and it's all done locally on your machine it uses your basically uses your master password to encrypt the information the encrypted information is then stored on the servers then when you recall information the web browser or your plugin downloads the encrypted information decrypts it locally on your machine and there you go, it's all safe. You can explore this yourself. You can create an example uh, account like I did. You can see all the uh, password history right there. That's the old passwords. They are encrypted. You can tell it's encrypted by the, the placeholder of the fill in the double uh, equal signs. And then you get the different encrypted bits. Pretty neat. And you can do this with other password managers that have a uh, online password managers that have an online uh, uh, portal like Bitwarden has. You can do the right click and inspect elements, then go to the networking tab, perform an action like save the uh, file. So you, got, you might usually have to make a change to the file to see actually the changes happen. And make sure it sends it over to the server. And you can see what information is being sent to the server to make you feel better. Uh, some password manager, online password managers do this very well, like Bitwarden. They encrypt every single thing, the username, uh, the notes section, all that's encrypted. The URLs are encrypted. Uh, the t date is not encrypted. Not a huge deal because it's useless information because there's no contacts of URLs or anything like that. 
uh, there's other password managers that do this really, really well, like 1Password. They, they, they actually encrypt in two big blocks, so you have important and not important information, but even Bitwarden is, is perfect. This is exactly what you want. You want everything encrypted line by line like they've done there. And there's other password managers that don't do this very well, which I will not mention. Uh, some don't encrypt everything. So you can confirm yourself, and when you're trying out these password managers, see which one does it the best. And it's pretty easy to do at home. It's a couple presses of a button with Google Chrome, and you can see what data is being uh, sent to the servers. Pretty neat, pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed.